Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to show you how to use the personal wide envelope template that I have available on my website. This one is a little different from the other sizes. I tried to make sure that all of the hand or the manual cut or hand cut templates were printable on eight and a half by eleven paper. In this case, the full template would not fit on letter paper, letter size paper, and I printed it on legal paper. So I did include this version that if you have legal paper or you know how to make how to turn a standard letter sheet into a piece of legal paper and print then you still can use the full size pattern or template but for those who don't have that size paper and don't want to try to figure out how to make their own I did make the half template which is you use it pretty much the same way you do with the half templates for my um, traveler's notebook folder and the traveler's notebook envelopes but in case you're not familiar with that I'm going to show you how to do it excuse my squeaky chair so this is when you print the templates out if you print them both of them this is what they would look like so I've already cut the half template out and I'm just going to show you how you would use that. And this is this is the personal wide envelope that I made using the digital cut file. So this is what the personal wide looks like once it's put together. Just show that one. Okay, to use the half template, I would line the right edge, which is the side with the flap and the bottom edge with the paper that's just one straight edge that you don't have to cut then I'm just going to take a pencil and trace around the template and it would be much easier to do this if you use cardstock so I'm not going to trace this inside line I am going to trace the little notch here and then I'm just going to come come down here and trace the bottom edge so I'm tracing everything except the left side of the template did I already do this yes I already did that and then I'm going to go ahead and trace my holes my holes are a little small because I could not find my regular hole punch and I used my crocodile so Plus it's easier. Okay. So that's what it'll look like. I don't know if you can see that. But as you can see, this whole left side is open. And I've traced out everything on the right side. Then all you do is line up the top. Well, you flip the template over, basically. So we started with it this way. Now we're going to flip it over and trace the other side. And I'm going to line everything up. even leaves and then go and trace this side now if you want you can trace this center line or part of it that will help you um, make sure you have everything lined up properly if you want to do that you don't have to maybe I should have shown you that way but we can just trace everything carefully to the holes This would have been much better with a mechanical pencil, but okay. So there you have the whole template, which is the same as this. And then it's just a matter of cutting it out and punching your holes. And doing your folds. And again, it will come out like this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then get it ready to go.
Okay, so I can cut that slit out. You could use, if you have um, sharp edge scissors, you could just do this deal with them or you could use an exacto knife. Um, I don't have my cutting mat available. Let's see, do I have a piece of cardboard that I can cut on? Let's just cut on this. Perfect, but that's good. Then I'm gonna take get my scoreboard out and do my scores. Do the flaps. And the score here is like right at where the edge of the flap meets the edge of the bottom or the fold over piece. So it's gonna be different for depending on what size envelope you're using. So you're just gonna have to see where the flap corner meets the actual corner of the bottom piece of the, or the fold up piece of the envelope. And then our top flap, I'm gonna go ahead and score. It's the same principle. Wherever that fold meets, So I folded this over this way so that I can see where I need to punch my holes. So I can go ahead and do that now. I really don't want to use my crop a dial to do that. So let me go find my regular hole punch. Okay, I have it now. So I flipped this over this way so that I can come in and go ahead and punch my holes before I glue it together. Okay, so now I'm going to flip this arm back over and I'm going to burnish my flaps. Oops. Fold over my top. Add some glue to these two flaps or you can use a self it a double-sided tape score tape glue stick whatever your adhesive of choice is this is art glitter glue with a fine tip and a and a fine tip nozzle bottle I have them listed in my Amazon influencer shop and I did not fold that right so there we have it it's an envelope you can put it in your personal wide like I mentioned I don't have a personal wide planner but let's just pretend this is a personal wide this is one of the Michaels recollections planners the binder and they are a little wider than most personal size planners so we're going to pop this in here so you can get an idea of what it will look like so you can put it with the flap side up or flip it around and do it the other way depending on what pattern you use. So you have to be um, conscious of, you know, what, what the design is on the paper you're using. But this is how it fits in the planner. And there you go. So it works great and you can use it to store stickers, die cuts, anything you want. Let's pop this one in here too. And voila. You can use them also. I know a lot of people do cash envelopes. 
So depending on the design you use or the paper that you use, you could do cash envelopes. And this one is a card stock and I use scrapbook paper for this one. So you can change the weight of the paper. Just depends on what you need. And you can decorate this. So lots of things you can do with them. So anyway, that is the personal wide envelope template and how you put it together. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.